Okay, so this is a tutorial on the organization of the neck. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the an anatomical triangles of the neck, the anterior and posterior triangles, and then I'll go on to talk about the fascial compartments. I'll also talk a little bit about the different structures that pass through the um, anatomical triangles, but I'll go into more detail on other tutorials on this. So we're looking at an anterior view of the neck, and you can see these thin muscles here. So this is the platysma muscle, and this is comp contained in the superficial fascia of the neck. So I'll get rid of these um, and show you the different triangles. So if I just zoom in a little bit more, I've got rid of the platysma muscle, which lies in the superficial fascia. And then you can see this big muscle here, which runs from the mastoid process down to attach onto the sternum and also onto the clavicle. So it's got two attachments, a sternal and a, a sternal and a clavicular attachment. And it's also attached to the mastoid process up here. So this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle, named because of its um, attachments. So the anterior triangle of the neck is defined by a few boundaries. So the inferior border of the mandible forms the superior border of the triangle. The midline forms the medial border and the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle forms the lateral border of the triangle. So the triangle is this here, the midline inferior surface of the mandible. So you've got the inferior surface of the mandible forming the superior border. You've got the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid forming the lateral border and the midline of the neck, which runs right down here, forms the medial border. So that's the anterior triangle of the neck. So as you can see here, there are several structures which run in the anterior triangle of the neck, and I won't go into huge detail on what these are, but I'll just quickly go through them. So you can see these, this bone here. This is the hyoid bone, and this bone is important because it forms the attachment for many muscles which make up the floor of the mouth and it, it provides attachment for the tongue muscles and it's involved in swallowing. So this is the hyoid, hyoid bone here. Muscles above it are called the suprahyoid muscles and these run in the anterior triangle and you've got these muscles below the hyoid bone so these are the infrahyoid muscles. Just these infrahyoid muscles are also called strap muscles because of their appearance. I guess they look like a strap, so these are the strap muscles. Below the strap muscles, we've got the thyroid gland, we've got the larynx here, and the trachea, and we've also got the um, parathyroid glands behind the thyroid. And then also you've got these... Um, vessels which obviously run in the anterior triangle so you've got the common carotid and its branches so the external and um, internal carotid and you've got the internal jugular vein running through the anterior triangle and then you've also got nerves so for instance the vagus nerve and recurrent laryngeal nerves run through the anterior triangle so that's the anterior triangle just to recap it's formed by the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid, the inferior margin of the mandible, and the midline of the neck. So the posterior triangle lies just behind the anterior triangle, um, and it's formed by the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid, the middle portion of the clavicle, and the anterior border of the trapezius muscle, so this big, this big muscle at the back, big powerful muscle there. So the apex of the posterior triangle is this bit of occipital bone just behind the mastoid process here. So you can see the triangle formed by the anterior margin of the trapezius, the middle 
portion of the clavicle and then the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid with its apex just behind the mastoid process. So again the posterior triangle um, of the neck contains a lot of important structures. I'm not going to go through all of them but just a few so 